Good morning from Barcelona. So today we're gonna do a typical day in my life here in Barcelona. Maybe not so typical for other Barcelonians. So we're leaving. <laughs> We've got a few things on the agenda. Uh, we're gonna go for some coffee, have a little chat. I'm not even joking, this is the first one. Gonna start getting ready to leave. <laughs> and I'll explain more about that. And show you a few other things like... I'm gonna have a bite now. But my priority is Bella, so we're out at the park. <laughs> Bella is absolutely obsessed with her ball. Actually, any ball in general. She just loves chasing. Today is a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, it's finally warmed up. It's been like, I swear, three to seven degrees. And here in Barcelona, that's a lot colder than like a three to seven degrees in Canada. I can say this because that's where I'm from. Here, it like gets into your bones. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So I'll spare you from an hour of playing with my dog, but that's usually what we do. An hour, first thing in the morning. <laughs> Look at you! Are you tired? Hmm? Are you tired? I'm gonna go home. Yeah, I want some coffee. Yeah. Coffee time! Got this beautiful coffee from Panama. Uh, my friends, they just got back from Panama. So they brought, oh, they brought this. While we wait for the coffee to get ready, I just wanna fill you in just in case you missed it or you're new here. I've recently just started a project called Just The Tip where I travel to each of the countries in Europe and climb to the highest peak. Oh. It's getting ready. So we're gonna chat about this. We're gonna have some coffee and talk about this. That could be why you're here. <laughs> Are you tired? Did you eat breakfast? <laughs> Excuse me. into it. So I've actually written all the questions from <laughs> various platforms, sent out um, a little post and a story to see what you guys wanted to know. So I was pretty curious. I'm not even joking. This is the first one. <laughs> what happened to your accent? So I used to have a really nice Canadian accent and then when I went to Vietnam, I lost it because they taught a lot of British English and I had to teach British English instead of Canadian or American. Why I still have it like this, I don't know. So let's see what's next. How will you finance this mountain climbing challenge? It's a really good question. First of all, decreasing major expenses. So we are leaving this apartment in Barcelona, but when it comes to actually financing it, I have a credit card for emergencies. I have some savings. I've got other things like other projects I've been working on for the last year. So I'm writing a book and I'm working on a video course right now. So hopefully those will be launching in the next few months. It's kind of just doing the best I can with what I have, you know? Um, I've had some people buy me coffees, um, so I really appreciate that. I just launched Patreon yesterday, which is also really exciting. After this last video, somebody said, get Patreon, and then it, I kept getting these comments. So thank you so much for the support and even suggesting that. Like it really, it actually means a lot to me. And if all else fails, I'm not afraid to stop somewhere and take up a random job, you know? I've done it before, so it's okay. Next one. What peak are you planning to do first? I already did one. So, Monaco. <laughs> What's the highest peak you plan to hike? Uh, Mount Elbrus. 
I think it's 5,600 meters, something like that. Are you doing this alone? Well, not exactly alone. It's my, my new dream, basically. So some of them I will for sure be alone. The next one, I will be. Um, maybe the, even the one after that, I'm not sure. Some I'll do with Juan Pablo when he wants to, when he can. Uh, he has his own life, his own work, so that's his thing. I've had lots of you who have reached out and said that you'd love to join. Other YouTubers, friends, family have reached out. So I'm really hoping that I can do a lot of these with other people as well. Have you ever hiked at altitude? Yes. Peru? Is this going to be your life now, nomadic life? Yes! <laughs> what peak are you the most unprepared for? <sighs> you know, you would think it would be Mount Elbrus, the highest, but no, no, no. <laughs> I've been researching because you have to know what season to climb in, um, what preparations you need, how to get there, how to finance it and everything. And it sounds like the peak in Austria is gonna be one hell of a challenge. Like I have to have a mountaineering course. Um, it is at altitude and I hear it's just very challenging in general. <laughs> Where do you get all your energy? I would love if you decide to do this adventure so climate neutral as possible. I try and do everything as sustainable as possible and this journey will be no different. So we are moving from this flat to actually a more sustainable lifestyle. I will do my best to minimize the amount of air travel because I know that has a huge impact on the environment. There are however going to be some places that I will have to go via plane, you know, like some of the islands. So you'll see. <laughs> All right, so actually I have some work to do. So see you in a sec. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. So I'm thinking maybe a salad and some pan con tomate so I can show you something a little bit Catalan. It's not Spanish. <laughs> Next, we're going to do a little bit of pan con tomate. Cut your piece of garlic in half. You have to toast the bread because you put the garlic directly onto the toasted bread. Then you take half of a tomato onto the bread. I've used a lot of oil, olive oil for this meal, so we're just going to do just a sprinkle just for the flavor. I'm going to have a bite now. Mmm! Seriously, it's so good. So if you can't tell, I'm in a bit of a rush because I have a meeting with a friend, a former student who's actually helping me with the video course. So I'm basically building this course to help people who want to move abroad. So I get tons of questions all the time. People often reach out and they're very curious about how to make it happen, how I did it, and they want tips and stuff. So I, I've been creating this course for the last year now almost. It's really close to being finished, which feels so good. And I couldn't have done it without um, this friend of mine. She's incredible. So I'm gonna eat this. It's not the prettiest thing. No, oh, but it's always delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. I'm gonna eat. So I will catch you actually after the meeting. getting cold and getting hungry so that means I need to go do some movement. I'm gonna go for a run. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go to the beach. You <laughs> wanna go outside? Are you ready? Are you excited? You look so excited. You were just napping. Did you just fart? Like we are ready. Oh, actually, 
actually I need to find a hair tie. And then we are ready. <laughs> Getting used to our beach runs now. <laughs> she knows which way to go. Sit. You know the drill. Wait. Okay. <laughs> she loves it. She's got zoomies. Yeah, it's really beautiful today. Wow. <laughs> Go! I'm finding since I've been doing this for a while, my running game is just so much better. Even after just a few weeks of like adding in some sprint interval training, it's just, it's really coming along. And like that used to be like, ugh, crap. Now it's just like, oh yeah, that's my warm up. <laughs> Feels good. Barcelona is so beautiful. I really do love it as a city. Really wonderful place. <laughs> it's got a lot to offer. But I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Intensity levels here. You need to bring it down just a little bit, okay? <laughs> Ready? Okay, but I need to stretch, so you're kind of in my space. Up. Good girl. I know you like the attention on you, but guess what, honey? Right now, we're making a video, okay? And you will have some cuddles later, okay? Pillow's had our dinner. My turn. Healthy avocado, tofu, lots of veggies, rice, just another salad. <laughs> okay. Beep, beep. <sighs> so we're leaving. <laughs> so we're leaving the apartment here in Barcelona. Uh, I think I said earlier that I cannot continue to pay what I was paying here because rent is very expensive here in Barcelona. What I've been doing a little bit every day is going through each part of the house and trying to figure out what stuff we can sell, get rid of, what stuff's gonna go into storage and what stuff is going to go to the next place that we go into. You're probably wondering where we're going once we leave this place here in Barcelona. Well, for now it's top secret, but I have dropped quite a few hints so you will find out sooner or later, but I'm not gonna tell you this video. Keep you guessing. <laughs> I think the hardest part is trying to figure out like how to get rid of some of this stuff, you know? So I was doing some research on different things and I found like an old x-ray. Apparently it's like coated in silver or something and they can actually use that for other things. So I wanna recycle these things in the right way, but I just don't know how or where to go and like, so you can actually look up Punt Verde and every neighborhood has one of these in Barcelona. You can recycle pretty much anything. 
And actually, after I'm done doing this box, I have to also figure out more stuff for next week, for the next peak, because my original plans fell through. But everything's closed. They got tons of snow and it's full of ice. So you cannot hike. I had a backup plan, but with the political situation, just maybe not ideal. Now my plan C, so far so good. The only thing is, is some of the COVID restrictions. So we will see. So I won't bore you with the rest of my chores that I have to do tonight and I won't take you outside because the camera doesn't really work when it's dark outside. And it's not very interesting anyways. For Bella it is, but yeah. I really need to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for constantly supporting like it really does make my day brighter and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much for being you. <laughs> You're legends. I will see you very soon in the next country. Hopefully plan C works. If not, I will have a plan D and probably a plan E, right? <laughs> it's the way it works. So take care and Happy adventuring, friends. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You have the whole apartment to yourself. You just need to be right here. <laughs> Such a little sweetie. Are you my pumpkins? My little bubbles? My little bubbles? I love you. Yeah.